Hello traders out there in Traderland. It's Tuesday, July 26, 2011, and my name's Des Des Woodruff here at Grok Trade and the Markets. Take it on the chin. The Dow down 91, almost 92 points, down 0.7%. The S&P down 0.4%. NASDAQ not doing too bad here, in large part due to Baidu beating earnings last night. Down only 0.1%. Russell's down 0.8%, taking the biggest hit today. Futures on the NASDAQ at the time of this video is actually in positive territory. The banks were down significantly, down more than 1%. VIX also up. We are over 20 on the fear indicator. Gold is up. Silver was up. U.S. dollar again down and this time significantly down 0.85 percent usually when the u.s dollar is down like this we have a nice bullish day so twice now we're seeing this anomaly take shape we need to look at that closely and we have crude oil up ever so slightly still under a hundred dollars per barrel and that's where we're at. Let's take a look here at the S&P and the glorious symmetrical triangle that it's in. Check this out. We have this higher swing low. We have these lower swing highs. We have all these moving averages. Look at this. Look how they're all converging together. Do you see this? This dude is building a lot of power. Building a huge amount of power. As a good colleague of mine says, it's like a wet watermelon seed. The harder you pitch it, the further it wants to pop. Now, put me down on the record for saying this. Gang, we are in this huge triangle. At this very moment, we are pinching within a pinching triangle. So we have a symmetrical triangle within a symmetrical triangle. This dude is building a lot of power right now. The MACD centered oscillator, we still are, ha we have a reading above zero. We are above the moving averages. The setup here is more bullish than it is bearish. However, this thing can pop up or down. You got to be careful here in the markets. I'm hedged going into the close. I am actually net to the bearish side. However, this thing could rally and strong with the debt ceiling argument taking place. When that thing finally comes to an end, that should help the markets move outside this channel that it's in, this pinching pattern that it's in. But mark my words when I say this. Instead of seeing a 100-point move on the Dow, we're going to be seeing a 200, a 300, or even a 400-point move on the Dow to the upside, downside, and maybe even multiple days. Again, symmetrical triangles usually build power, and within that power, you get nice runs up or nice runs down. We're in the middle of it, so we, don't, we can't pick a side. However, if I had a gun to my head and I had to pick a side right now, I would say we are more bullish and bearish. Price action is staying closer to this upper trend line than the lower trend line. Furthermore, the last time we went to make a low, we did not hit that lower trend line. We missed it. So I drew another trend line here, this little one coming up. And look at this, much higher swing low than a lower swing high. Can you see that? So the triangle, the apex of this triangle with the green is way up here near the upper blue line. Do you see that? It is not down here. It's not even in the middle. It is, and we price action remains above the um, moving averages, and the MACD is above zero. So there you have it. And thank you for sharing this with your friends. Pass this link around in your trading forums. Let people know about it. Furthermore, if you haven't done so, do yourself the biggest favor ever. Go through the 101 trading videos. It's five courses. They are free, five courses. And those 101 videos will certainly share and show you things that you didn't know in trading. That will really fill in some blank spots that you have in your trading foundation. Furthermore, it's going to take you four and a half hours. Just four, over four hours of advanced or I'd say basic trading education. And after that, look at the 201s, and that is where you get into the more advanced stuff. Take care and safe trading to you.